welcome to a very, very large two bedroom apartment. I step in here, you see the detail in the exposed brick, which we like to keep to my right. You have very large separate kitchen, a ton of counter space, even more over there. You have this open area here where you could potentially do a two person round table or do an island, um, but it's definitely very usable space. If you want to do a continuation of an island or a small table, stackable GE washer dryer, which is brand new. Uh, the rest, everything else has been updated recently. Modern appliances, full size dishwasher, full size fridge, no shortage of cabinet space, and of course, ventilating hood above the oven. I'm gonna go slow here. As you see, you got your buzzer by the door, fresh coat of poly on the floor so they shine, nice moldings, great paint job. To my right, you're gonna see a very, very big bathroom. So you walk in here, tub. A lot of spacing to show you the floor space. Nice tiling. Like I said, two racks here, but yeah, really good stuff. You already got the tension rod in, bring your own curtain. So that is the bathroom for both apartments. It's totally separate. Tile. Here is a shared closet. Essentially, you use as a coat closet. The built ins are already in, which is nice. They can be removed. Now you have a very, very big living room here. Um, I kind of feel like that's an, even an understatement when you kind of step back and see the size. So massive. High ceilings. And of course, we did the moldings above the ceiling as well. The light fixtures are already in. The windows over there, which I'm going to show you in a second. But first, I'm just going to pan around real quick, show you another massive closet. So this might be a longer video because of how much space is in this apartment. So having the built-ins in already is just so huge. Obviously California built-ins are, are not cheap. Let me pan back around here. This is a ton of space. You got a big set of windows over here which will clean. Uh, you do get some exposed sky so light comes in. This is not a dark apartment. There is a lot of natural light. That is a big set of windows. Voltage for AC which is already in. The moldings continue, and then the bedrooms are split here, which is great. Like I said, it's really hard to capture the ceiling height in a video. You can kind of see where the window is, and there's still more room after that. So let me step in here, clean your king size bed, view face in the back. The sun is going to set in like 20 minutes. I don't have the flash on, so I'll sort of give you an idea. Very, very big room. We do a queen over here, desk over there. If you need a king, you do a king, more build outs in all the closets. Very, very clutch thing. Very, very underappreciated. Now, let me step into this bedroom, which feels a touch bigger because of the way it's laid out, but it's pretty similar. I think you'd split the rec pretty evenly, in my opinion. Maybe this room uh, pays utilities, maybe it doesn't. Heat and hot water is obviously included. As you can see here, got the sun setting, nice view, clears these other buildings. Steam heat, doesn't dry your skin out in the winter. Vaulted for an AC, the windows are open, um, both of them, and throughout the whole video, you're not really hearing much noise, so it kind of shows you how quiet it is. You get the best of both worlds, you get the quiet, and then you get the light at the same time coming in. Big closet here, the video's going on four minutes, that's how big this apartment is. All right, more build-outs, shelving space above. So there's really nothing this apartment doesn't have. To be honest, if you're looking for space um, to put your desks in the bedroom with the beds, that works. Then again, you could create a little home office out here and still have enough living room space. So feel free to reach out with any questions. Thanks for viewing.